Hello, and welcome to Obsidian Portal. I'm Jerry, your community manager. Today I'm going to be doing a series of videos on going over your Obsidian Portal campaign page. Um, I'll be going through all the pages individually. However, this video will be covering the campaign dashboard. So the dashboard is basically an overview of everything that you have access to uh, for all of your resources on Obsidian Portal. You can see that once you log in here, at the top left, uh, it'll say welcome and your username. From here, you can make changes to your profile. If you're an Ascendant uh, member, you'll be able to go here and make edits to your subscription uh, or subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, this is your message center. When and if you have new messages here, you'll see a notification. You can simply click and you'll get a pop down. You'll see your new messages, hit them, and you'll jump straight to the message where you can reply. Um, this is your campaign jump list. So as you have multiple campaigns, if you do, you'll be able to jump back and forth between them through this through this list here. Uh, as you can see, I have several. Uh, most of them are D&D &D or fantasy campaigns. Uh, but please keep in mind that Obsidian Portal is for all sorts of campaigns, so it doesn't matter if you're playing D&D or Pathfinder or Warhammer or whatever it is, if it's if it's modern, if it's uh, sci-fi, if it's anything, it belongs on Obsidian Portal. So, uh, beyond that, this is our new page where you can create new wiki pages, characters, uh, forums, um, events, and all sorts of things that you can do from the individual pages over on the left navigation, but this is kind of a quick jump. Um, to whatever you need at that moment. Um, at the top here, also the last thing, um, other than pin here, if you pin as you scroll, um, that will either stick with you or not stick with you as you uh, traverse your pages here. But the search bar is a really cool thing uh, where you're going to be searching character names, uh, tags, any kind of anything that you've labeled in your campaign. So for example, let's see here, let's type in elf, and we can see that across all my campaigns, I have two characters uh, that are elves and they have the elf tags. So let's just click on one and see where it takes us. So here we go. Um, it's a it's not a filled out character sheet. My players don't like to actually really track their character stuff online. It's mostly paper. We mainly use Obsidian Portal for our adventure logs and stuff as you can see here. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So the other thing you see from the overview here is your nice color scheme, the name of your campaign, a preview of the art from your campaign, and then at the very top here uh, we have recent events. These are activity feeds, right? So uh, anybody that's been chatting up in the forums, you'll be able to see that kind of at a glance here, and you can click and jump to those. Also, any upcoming events. So if you've got an event planned on your uh, calendar for your campaign, it'll also show up here, and you'll be able to see the people that have flagged themselves as going or not going or haven't given a response yet. And from here, you can jump in, you can send people reminders and things like that. But we'll cover all those more advanced features once we cover the calendar uh, section itself in a separate video. Um, aside from upcoming events here, you'll see Adventure Log. And so your Adventure Log is going to have a stream of basically all your Adventure Logs. And for those of you new to Obsidian Portal, Adventure Log is basically a blog post that would chronicle your last play session uh, when you got together with your group, whether it was online or in person. Um, and it can be as prosy or as, you know, as, as terse as you need. Um, you can do bullet points. You can do big, long kind of you know, fiction sweeping, you know, uh, from different characters' perspectives. There's a lot of ways you can do it, and it's up to you and your players uh, as to as to how you do it. So the main idea here is to have fun and to just make sure you document your game so that next time you pick up, whether it's a month from now or three months from now, or in my case, almost a year later, you can at least have something to reference and pick up where you left off. Um, so also here you'll see there are little plus buttons on each of these that will also jump over to creating a new... Um, item of whatever that is. So a new adventure log or making a new forum thread or creating a new event. Also in your stream here you'll be able to see updates from people who have favorited your campaign and stuff like that. Um, and also your own activity on your campaign when you change things, made edits, added a character, added an adventure log, etc. Um, and these adventure logs too you can simply click read more and you'll get a big you know it'll pull down and also, you can just click on the Adventure Log title to jump straight to the hard link for that Adventure Log itself. And at the bottom of your dashboard page, uh, aside from our links at the bottom, you'll see over to the right your player group. So you'll see all the players in your group, uh, their login names, and also over here you'll see what character they're playing. So you can simply click on that, jump straight to their character. You can click on the email button to send them a message uh, directly over Obsidian Portal to communicate one-on-one -on -one if you need to. 
Um, but beyond that, that's really um, all there is to the campaign dashboard. So um, this is the overview here, but be sure to check the YouTube channel for videos on each individual section of Obsidian Portal. That's it for now, and I'll catch you guys later.